Hello everybody, my name is Barry Nix and this is PB Layouts 3, which is now going to be known as Layouts by Paintball Dev. I'm tired of making up new names for every product. I'm just calling them what they are now by Paintball Dev. <laughs> so um, anyway, first thing you want to know how to do is move around. So to move around, just a left click and drag to move the camera around. I'm around. To rotate the camera, right click and drag. And to zoom in and out, so basically to zoom into the field or out of the field, simply move up and down on your scroll bar or your scroll wheel. Uh, if you have a trackpad, so if you're using a Mac laptop or something like that, uh, that'll work just as well. Um, depending on your sensitivity, it might need a little bit of work, but otherwise you can scroll in and out, no problem. Data bunker, just go here to this menu bar, and we're going to select a temple. Okay. Now when a bunker has been selected from that menu bar, it is in what I like to call array mode. That just means that you can continue to add this bunker to the field until you explicitly say, I'm done with it. All right, and I'm gonna show you what that means. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, place this bunker here by simply press it, pressing the place button, which is this green button up here. But you can also do the same thing by hitting the space bar, okay? Now you can see here, we've at, it's still allowing me to, select, to place another bunker, so we're gonna place it and place it. All right. Now you also notice that right now the, this layout is in mirrored mode, and you can see that every bunker that I add is mirrored exactly as it is across the field. It does the same also with rotation. So you simply hit the rotate button here or press the R key on your keyboard. Okay, like that. And hit the place button again, and you'll see that, what do you know, its mirror is also rotated. So we're gonna go ahead and deselect it. We're done now, so it's gonna hit deselect, and we're back in regular old edit mode. All right. Now uh, to edit a bunker, let's say uh, you know we don't want it here. Simply click on it to select it, and now move it across the field, and you'll see that its mirror also moves across the field. And to drop it, simply hit the place button, and then deselect it. Remove a bunker. Just remove, just simply select it and hit remove. And as you can see, its mirror also is removed. So remove this one and this one and that one. All right, simple as that. Now, to customize your layout, um, I give you a couple of options here. So one of the things you can do is you can customize the actual colors of the bunkers, the primary and secondary. So right now we're in NXL colors, um, but you can change it to something like a more of a Valken feel. So with primary color, is the main color of the bunker, as you can see. Secondary color is going to be that uh, extra highlight, usually what's on the top of the bunker or the bottom. So I'll do a black. And so now it's more of a falcon feel. I'll also give you a couple of views. So we have the top view where you can actually edit uh, the layout from the top. So for example, we'll select this bunker, move it just a little bit more, and then deselect it like it's supposed to be. Um, all the controls work as they should. So we can rotate this a little bit. So now we have a more interesting layout here. And deselect it. And as you can see, the mirror is mirrored straight across. Final view is the player view, where you can actually view the field as a player. So this actually aids with aid with uh, creating layouts and like making sure that all of your shots are right, or making sure that a layout has a certain shot or the ability to uh, control an area the way you want it to. So you can use this to see how the layout will look um, as a player of different heights. Final thing is you can also take a screenshot of your layout. So from right here, let me do that. This looks like a pretty good angle for the screenshot and simply hit the take a screenshot button. And this will save this to your desktop in 1920 by 1080. So 1080p size. Finally, when you're all done, simply hit that save button and it will save your layout, which we'll name it Super Layout, and save it to where it needs to go. Now we can go to My Layouts, and what do you know? Not only do I put um, the layout itself, but also should give you a screenshot of the layout that you're working on. And when you're ready, you can simply hit that uh, Edit button to um, go back to editing, the Delete button to get rid of it, so we're gonna get rid of these two. Or you can just hit the share button and this will give you a shareable link that will allow you to share your layout all over the world with other people. When you wanna make another layout, just hit that new layout button. And that's that. 
So that's Layouts by Paintball Dev. My name is Barry Nix again, uh, and I will see you in another tutorial video. See you guys later. Bye.